Today in BC, conventionally fueled vehicles crowd our roads and towns, impacting air quality and damaging the environment. Well, the transportation industry in BC uses mainly gasoline and diesel fuel today, and it represents the largest proportion of BC's greenhouse gas emissions, about 40%. Our homes only account for about 6%, but an energy used for heating in many homes could help fuel a better future for BC's transportation industry, natural gas. In British Columbia, we have an abundant supply of clean burning natural gas. A BC resource. Most of the natural gas deposits are located in the northeast part of British Columbia in the area known as Dawson Creek, Fort St. John and Fort Nelson. Cost effective. The price of natural gas compared to gasoline and diesel fuel has ranged from 25 to 40 percent less than those fuels. Creates jobs and is better for the environment. But there's also a huge economic opportunity for British Columbia. If we can make greater use of natural gas we're not only putting people to work in northeastern British Columbia producing and extracting the gas, we can reduce air emissions and pollution while also boosting our economy at the same time. So what we're doing today is focusing on opportunities with fleets. And by fleets, we're talking things like garbage trucks, the waste haulers that run through your neighborhood every day, transit buses, school buses, uh, heavy hauling fleets that, that cycle back and forth and we see real opportunities to deliver greenhouse gas reductions and save those fleet operators money. Our business model is to provide natural gas fueling stations to customers with return to base fleets. We would go in and install and maintain a natural gas fueling station on the customer property. The customer would get billed through a meter just like you would for a normal home or a business and they would get a monthly bill that strictly shows their transportation use for natural gas. One company on board is Collection Hauler Waste Management. We have about 930 natural gas vehicles within waste management. Most of them are in California. Last year in Seattle, we introduced about 130 new trucks there. And we're real excited about British Columbia because we're going to be bringing in 20 new front load natural gas vehicles to service our community here in the mainland Vancouver area. But what about the technology? One word, Westport. Westport is a uh, developer of natural gas engine fuel systems and related components that allow uh, all the way from small vehicles to large trucks and heavy mine haul trucks to run on natural gas. These engines are very reliable. In fact, uh, they're based on the original diesel engines uh, that Cummins manufactures. So we get all the benefits of the diesel engine and all the engineering effort that was expended on this engine, but we're able to add natural gas as an additional benefit for cleaner air, for, uh, for lower cost and, and better operation. The technology is, has come a long way on all fronts. And in fact, it's very widely used across the world. There's about 11 million natural gas vehicles in the rest of the world operating today. Not only do drivers see the difference, they hear it. The drivers are always excited when they get these new vehicles in their yard. One of the first things they mention is they're so much quieter. When you're a company like ours, who's near the homes, near the businesses, deep in the heart of these downtowns, that's important. Energy, economy, and the environment, it all adds up to a promising future for natural gas vehicles. Natural gas can play a very significant role in reducing transportation's impact on climate change. We see a vision where uh, on Highway 1, every truck that you see go by will be burning clean burning natural gas and it will be reducing carbon emissions. So looking forward, I'm a British Columbian, I live here, my children live here, and it's important to me and I think important to the others I work with that we work together to leave something, to leave a legacy and preserve this beautiful province that we all live in.